Okay, good afternoon everybody. This is Mrs. Derpo and I'm going to show you how to draw a Thunderbird. And um, anyway, um, I have my supplies. Let's see, I have a sharpener. It's actually a makeup sharpener. Um, so, you know, steal your mom's or your sister's. I'm sure they'd be super happy if you sharpened a pencil in their eye uh, makeup or lip sharpener. Um, no, they wouldn't. Uh, I also have a red and a black colored pencil and an eraser because guess what? Going to make mistakes, even though this is actually my third time doing this. <laughs> Practice makes perfect, right? Um, it's not not really on the drawing part, it's more on the recording part. But anyway, we'll get there. All right, so um, we're going to draw a Thunderbird, Hiawatha Thunderbird to be more exact. Um, I'm only going to use red and black uh, and white for colors, uh, but I am using my Chromebook for uh, a picture of the Hiawatha Thunderbird because it's pretty complicated and, uh, well, I'm just not, um, creative with Thunderbirds. I'm not very familiar with them. So, uh, I'm going to use a picture. So I'm going to start in the center where there's kind of a square shape. And what I like to do with complicated things like a Thunderbird is I like to, first of all, draw lightly because you'll erase. I erase. I'm going to erase already. <laughs> So square in the center, I like to see the more simple shapes so that it helps me to draw things, okay? And just take it one step at a time. Because if you looked at the Thunderbird, you'd be like, oh my gosh, I can't draw that. Well, guess what? We can together. So slowly. On the outside of the square, you're going to draw two little lines. That's actually like a, um, there's going to be an outline of black, okay? Um, the next thing that I like to draw is the tail part. And uh, you kind of go down a little bit and give it, you know, because there's going to be a black outline in between. So a little bit of a smiley face right here. And then it's almost like a rectangle, but it's a little bit rounded. So kind of rounded edges here, rounded, and then a smiley face shape. And then it's rounded on the ends here. Okay? Um, don't be afraid to make you know, mistakes, it's not not going to be exact. Now, you're going to leave a little bit of a space because we're gonna draw a couple of legs here or claws or whatever. Okay, um, and then right here, about halfway, right here and right here, we're going to draw the tail feathers. So the tail feathers, there's only three of them and they come out at an angle. And remember that you can make this however you want to make it. Uh, it's your drawing. It does not have to be an exact replica. Mine is not an exact replica of the Hiawatha Thunderbirds. I'm sorry people, but first of all, I'm creative and second, um, that's really difficult to draw. So, uh, we're not going to add the designs in the tail quite yet. We're just going to draw the, the whole thing first. Now, um, each time I've drawn the legs differently, the legs are quite complicated actually. So I'm just gonna draw, let's see. So we're gonna make like a little line out here because they're kind of going up at an angle like this. And then it's going to be kind of a knobby, almost like a knee. Don't really know what that is, but some sort of joint. And then we're going to make another little rounded thing like this, okay? Um, let's see, this comes out kind of at a circle like this, not a circle, but a smiley face curve. And let's see, a bigger circle on the bottom, kind of a bigger circle there. Those aren't really that even, but that's okay. This one's longer, I think. Kind of think it looks better. Okay. So this is going to go this way, and then this way, and then that way. There. That probably looks a little bit better. 
Okay, uh, the first claw or finger kind of goes this way and then here. This bottom one is more of a C shape. See that? And then it goes backwards this way. Let's try this over here. This one goes up this way. Yes. And down. Whoops. No, don't go away. This one is a C shape down here, like that. Okay. They're drastically different sizes. Uh, you can fix that or you can keep it. Doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go down a little bit here and then make the next finger and it's going to be kind of like that. This one, let's see. So it comes down a little bit. Oh good, the dog is going to whine. And then like that. Something like that. Yeah, I know. The girls are outside. Okay. Uh, well, that's it for the claws. They're different sizes. It's okay. It's not going to matter in the whole long run, right? Okay, we're going to do the head next. Now, up here next to where the square is, we're going to do the head, and it's going to be kind of off the corner here. And the head is actually kind of at an angle like this. So you use your pencil, and it's going to go this way. And then the top part looks, it reminds me of a car like the roof of a car and then the windshield here. <laughs> I know, strange things. Uh, and then we're gonna make the beak and the beak is gonna go down like that and then back up and around like that. And then right here we're gonna make a little curve and then we're gonna draw the bottom part of his mouth. And it kind of, it doesn't really touch and it's rounded kind of like that. And it's going to come down and around like this. Okay. Uh, then we're going to do the wings and uh, both wings are kind of even as far as um, shape and size and angle. Now I'm going to draw them lightly because they are kind of difficult to draw. They are kind of long. So it kind of goes up at an angle here and then down towards the side like this and it comes way down. So let's see if we can do something similar over here. Up, and then it curves down to about there. No, those don't look even, do they? Kind of looks even right to about, well, maybe it does. Uh, let's see, why are they not even? Uh, this one's a little bit longer, so let's erase this one because I like the way that that one looks. So, we can take this down here and then curve it so it maybe comes down to about the same. There we go. That's pretty good. Okay, now it drops down into almost like a teardrop shape and it's, I'm going to make it kind of bigger, okay? I've been making it a little bit smaller in the other ones, but I like it maybe a little bit bigger. Of course, making the same shape on the other side is kind of difficult, apparently. Okay, let's see. Teardrop shape. There we go. All right, so this comes up just a little bit like this, like that. And then we're going to start, there's, I wanna say feathers, but they're kind of more like banners because there's only three of them, which I guess is good because then trying to get more than three feathers the same exact way would be difficult. So we're gonna start from here. This is kind of the, I don't know if I wanna say armpit, but maybe. This is going to come down and it's gonna come down and around right about there, okay? Uh, and actually, it's not gonna go up that high. I always go up too high. There we go. Now, uh, the other two are um, in between these two. So, actually, maybe this goes way up higher. There we go, maybe like that. Okay, 
You want to do the same thing on both sides, right? Okay, so this one is going to go straight down towards the teardrop, and remember there are U-shapes, and this one is the biggest one, so it kind of goes like that. And then it's going to curve in and go like that. Yes, thereabouts. Uh, we might want to make this a little bit more squarish. I don't want to say squarish. It's not really square, but square-ish, I guess. Okay, so let's do the same thing over here. We can fix this right here because I don't like that. Okay, so this one is going to come down here and it's going to touch on that and go up at an angle and stop. Okay, this one comes here and then this one comes down and goes towards the teardrop, but down and around. Whoops, that's way too big. Okay. Hmm. This one doesn't come down as much as I'm putting it. Okay. There we go. And it goes down and around and up. What do you think? There about? Okay. Now we're going to do the design part of it. Okay. We have the outline, which is called the contour line, if we're learning some art vocabulary, right? Love vocabulary. Contour line. Okay. So the outside edge, and you want to make sure that that's nice and dark so that you can see it. Okay, so we can darken that up here. Go around. Now, it would look lovely as a pencil drawing. Some people don't like to ruin their drawings with colored pencil, but um, we're going to add some designs in here. Okay, the first where, place that we're going to add is right in here. This is kind of a, um, it's broken up into four, but it's rounded. So, let's see. So I'm just rounding all the corners, whoops. Like that. And like that. Uh, there's a design up here and it looks something like an oval, but it's half and half, like that. Now this one um, is a little bit different and I'm going to make it simpler just because I like simple, okay? And that looks really cool anyway. Uh, right here, there is somewhat of an oval here. Let's make this kind of like that. And then um, if we make some sort of a weird, kind of goes down like this and then back up like that. And then if we make a circle like that, kind of looks cool. All right, in the beak, uh, I would start here and make almost like a triangle shape or a, another beak shape, right? Um, let's see, there's an eye shape in here. So this, so it looks like a smiley face here and a sad face on top. And then it's connected by two straight lines. And then we're going to draw another one and a sad face. And then we're gonna draw a circle. Well, not really a circle, but kind of a circle. And then a smaller circle in the middle. And then on top, we're just going to make almost like a rectangle, but don't go, of course, all the way to the outside. Okay. Now, let's see. This shape in here has kind of an eye shape, too. So it kind of goes like this, and then it kind of goes like that, like a football shape, right? And then we're going to put the circle in the center, and then a circle. It's just so that we repeat some of the shapes and the designs, okay? In here, we're going to add a U-shape like this, and then kind of a top part. So a U-shape again, 
and then a top part, and then a U shape again. You know what? I liked it. I like it more like this, straight across, not. Oops, dog hair. Yuck. Someone needs to vacuum. Okay. So let's see. Go straight across like that. All right. Now. Uh, right in here we can add a circle now you don't want to get too too small if you know it depends on the instruments that you're going to use to color it if you're going to color it um, if you're going to use a sharp pen you know like shape then um, or you have really nice colored pencils and they're really pointy then go ahead and make it as small as you want but you know these shapes are rather small you know and even going around them is gonna be difficult so Careful not to make your designs too small. So we're gonna add over here at the end of the wings a teardrop shape, like that, okay? And then a circle kind of at the bottom here. And then over here, we're gonna do the same thing. Try and make it as big as you can without going all the way to the edge. And then a circle. Okay, now these guys get a smiley face U shape and then a smiley face U shape. So we're gonna do that to all of them. A smiley face U shape, whoops. And a smiley face U shape. Okay, over here to these three. Um, there we go. All right, now here we're going to top it off and this goes to an angle like this because we're gonna leave that because it's going to be an outline in black and it's gonna go down and then it's gonna go around and then up like that. Same thing here, around and up and we're gonna leave that shape there. Like an outline, right? Because we're gonna outline it in black and I'll show you what that'll look like in just a minute. Okay, almost done. And then across, and then it's gonna go down like a big U, and then across, and then a big U, and then of course this one's the angled one, right? Because we're going for the outline in black. Okay. There is my Hiawatha Thunderbird. Now, um, I'm using black and red, and uh, the colors go nicely together, and I suggest a nice pointy black um, colored pencil if you have it. A marker would be nice. Um, crayons are good. Um, so we just color, so I would color all of the black outline first. And then you can go in and add some highlights, such as, let's see. So like I could make this red right there, right? Um, I could make these red. Um, you know, whatever you can, you can make them whatever things that you want. You could add more designs to the insides of these if you want. Um, they are quite big and I'm not sure I would, I would uh, make those red. So I would keep going all the way around, okay? And I'm going to show you my done um, Thunderbird so that I don't bore you with just coloring but if you take your time this is actually quite relaxing and I'm not sure that I, I don't think that my voice is as relaxing as Bob Ross but um, you could put a Bob Ross video on while you're coloring and he is he's a lot like listening to golf on a Sunday afternoon um, and you can just take a nice nap or you know relax and color while you're watching him and being amazed by him. Anyway, so my finished one looks like this. Ta-da! So, um, oh, I did add a 
design in the center there. I can show you how to do that, okay? All right, let's do that. So I added a design in the center. So I added almost like a Nike symbol, except it's not. It's just kind of a repeat of the same type of shape like that. So a smiley face and a smiley face and a smiley face and a smiley face like that. So just kind of in the center. Smiley face, smiley face. A lot of times Native Americans used similar designs and shapes and repeated things. So in here, I kind of did that. So I just, um, almost like a ladybug, <clears throat> you know, the wings. So it goes down here and down there, straight down the middle and straight there. So it looks like a J, okay? And then the other side, I think that's all I did. Let me see. Uh, I did do something else on the bottom too. So I did this and this. This. You could do this and you could do that. Oh, there's the dog. Say hi, Marley. Okay. So my finished product looks like this. And you should date it and you should sign it. And uh, please share us uh, some pictures with us and um, and hopefully you're staying safe and uh, being creative on this break. We'll see you soon, I hope, and um, take care.